Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this abstract render in Blender 3.4 Alpha. So let's get started. First add a plane, go to geometry nodes and close this window. Click on new and delete the group input and add a volume cube. This one. Connect the volume to the geometry and add a volume to mesh. Add a set material node and also add a set shade smooth node. Go to the material properties and create a new material and select it here. Now we need a gradient texture. Plug it into the density and set it to a spherical. Now add a musgrave texture and plug it into color 2 and use this color for the factor. Bring the gradient texture over here and plug the color into the factor here. Now let's also connect the color to color 1 and color 2. Add a Voronoi texture. Put that here. And add a Musgrave texture again. Put it here. Set the Warner texture to 4D and plug it into the W. Also, we need to set it to distance to edge. Now, save if you haven't already. Depending on the performance of your PC, I recommend that you set the resolution anywhere between 100 and 400. I'm going to set it to 400. Go to shading. As always, you can find the link to the HDI that I use in the description. Go to Rendered View and go to Render Properties. Let's multiply the max samples by 5. Go down here to Film and make it transparent and also enable transparent glass. Delete the principal BSDF. Add a mix shader. Plug it into the surface and add a subsurface scattering node. This one. And plug it in here. Let's make it red. Now also add a glass BSDF. Plug that one in here and make it blue. Now we need a Warner texture. Set it to 4D again and plug the, the, the color sorry, into the factor and add a color ramp. Set the white to somewhere around here. Now add a wave texture. Set it to diagonal and plug the color into the W. Add a mask wave texture and set the scale to 0.16 plug the height into the vector and here let's set the distortion to 20 let's save again go to layout mode and add a point light let's increase the radius like this go to rendered view and let's set the power to 10,000 and make it green. Now position your view like this for example and let's hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and I'm going to move it over here. I ended up positioning it here. Go back to view projecting and let's add an empty plane axis and move it up and now G shift set to move it like this. Let's move it up again. Somewhere around here. Go up here and enable depth of field. Select the camera and enable depth of field. Select the empty. And let's try something like 0.8 for example. So I set it to 0.4 and let's set the blades to 16. In the render properties, enable dig noise and set it to optics if you can. You can only do that if you have an NVIDIA GPU, but I prefer optics. 
go to color management and set the look to very high contrast. Now go to compositing and enable use notes. Add a denoise node set to accurate and enable denoising data to get these outputs. Save again and press F12 to render. So that's it of the tutorial. You can get the file on Gumroad for a dollar for the link in the description. I hope you liked the tutorial. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.